So Tommy, I mean, very good minutes in the tank there against a very good League One side. I thought it was a great game. The only thing that was disappointing today was the weather. Um, but fans still turned out in the numbers. Um, and I think the game was played in the right way. I mean, it has to be competitive, of course. Um, but both teams tried to play football and both teams showed what a bit of an identity really in, in the way they want to play. I thought the first half was particularly even Stevens in terms of the competitiveness. A couple of errors from us, you know, which is coachable and avoidable. Um, so I wasn't too disappointed and it took a deflection before it went past the big lad. So um, yeah, much more in terms of positivity in my head than negativity after that. Well, this might be just my opinion, but I thought it was a very, very good showing by us out there. I think we did look quite even against, like we've said, a league one yeah, side. Oh, he's, Matt's got a really, really good group of players. I mean, quite weirdly, I've signed five of them lads at different clubs. <laughs> so it was a bit strange to see them on the pitch, or see their names on the programme um, to, to face us. But anyway, the, the, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, pre-season's all about getting fitness, and this is day 20 of our pre-season. We've got another, what, two weeks before the season starts. Are you asking me, are we exactly where we want to be? No, because I always want to strive to be a little bit better. But I think before the game, my, my talk to the players, and that's all it was, there was no Churchillian speeches you know, about this, that and the other. It was, look lads, you get one opportunity to make a first impression, you new boys, and you've got to do that. And I don't think anybody who hadn't been on the pitch here at the EBB before um, would be looked at in a negative manner. So I was, I was pleased with that. I thought the ones who I thought would fit in like hand in a glove did the older guys more experienced fellas the ones who know the skill the skill set and the younger ones showed me what they are showed me a, li a little bit of naivety at times but some really good good things and like you said we got to remember we're not playing against a team who, who we play on a regular basis these these will be a good side in league one i mean there's some proper footballers in their team you know if you look just through the middle of the park with richard um joe jacobson luke lee top 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 professional footballer so I'm really really pleased in general I've got to temper that a little bit because we don't know yet but um, obviously Christian's done something um, and we find that out that we're probably going to go back upstairs but it, it, if that's the, the negative it, it is a real negative. Now Kwame obviously started today and he looked good up front and he? he was putting his presence around and is that is that what you feel like the, the side needed someone with a physical presence like that? Yeah I mean listen, the vast majority of the fans haven't seen Lorraine yet and he's he's a strong boy too but yeah I mean I think the division demands strength at the back and strength at the front and mobility agility and technical technicality in the middle of the park so you know all ingredients are required it gives me good options we've got small ones and quick we got little ones who like to have the ball at their feet to turn and run and we got big ones who want to challenge and hold the ball up i thought the two lads in the first half were the catalyst to why we did well because the ball went up there and it stuck or it was won and we we continued on our front foot as the game went on and they made loads of changes we made loads of changes both teams would become a little bit disjointed and stuff but uh, in, on the whole, Sam, I thought it was, a, it was an excellent workout, good side, and I, and I wish Matt and his, his club all the very best for the rest of the season. And Tyler Frost coming in with a goal as well. He's, he's really he's played pretty much almost every position in pre season so far, hasn't he? So it was nice to see him find the back of the net. Well, as I told you what I said to them before the game, I actually said to them after the game, use him as an example because one or two of the younger players showed me the bottom lip because they didn't get picked for the first game here at the EBB. I'm not bothered. At the end of the day, it's all about August the 5th. Tyler has proven to me, like you said, can play in two or three positions and is firmly in the plan. So any of the youngsters listening to this need to know they need to follow his way of performing when he comes on after 45 minutes as opposed to one or two of the others. And another one maybe setting an example this season, Stuart O'Keefe. Yeah. I mean, in my interview with him, we spoke about, you know, he was captain at Gillingham and he did take the armband you know, from the off today, is, is that something we can read into or is, is that decision not made? Well, I think that's the fifth cap we've had in yeah. the five games. Yeah. I think well, that passed to the run because I just think it's important that everybody realises if you're starting in my 11, you need to have a, a, an air of authority and then a confidence in yourself. Whether you wear the armband or not, I know whether AJ's got it or uh, Stu's got it, they will talk, they will in encourage. One or two of the others are a little bit more timid with it, so. Yeah, I'll eventually make me mind up, but he's certainly one of them in contention. The lads have been a captain in, you know, some serious F EFL clubs. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. 
Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.